to the patch notes overview for 315 Under the Sea. The final Summer of Smite items are released with this patch, along with some other great skins. First up, Ketsuka Kulkin, Kukulkin, and Lord of the Amazon Hebo are being released to Latin American players, transferring over from the Level Up servers to high res international servers. However, these skins will be available to everyone else at a later date. If you're transferring your account, we've got a handy FAQ over on SmiteGame.com. We're also giving Erling Shen his mastery skins this patch, complete with a very regal looking pop. Summer is coming to an end. The final Summer of Smite items and reward are being released this patch. The seventh Summer of Smite item release is Get Sir Freya. Freya is training for the great games with her new tennis look. One of my favorite parts of the skin is that with her second ability, she actually serves a tennis ball that can bounce off walls. The eighth and last item available in the Summer of Smite event is the Olympian music theme. Purchase all eight Summer of Smite items to unlock Sea Maiden Medusa for free. She's a limited skin, so she'll only be available during this time. And not only is Medusa completely transformed into a beautiful mermaid, but her effects all get an aquatic makeover. She also gets a totally unique global emote where she plays music. Next, let's move on to item changes. Enchanted Spear's cost is decreased, Spear of the Magus gets increased magical power, and lastly, we're adding a brand new item to smite, Poison Star. This item will allow players who want critical hits and additional utility. So Poison Star gives 30 physical power and 15% critical strike chance. Its passive infects enemies hit with critical strikes, causing them to be poisoned for 3 seconds. This poison slows them by 20% and reduces their damage by 20%. Next, let's move on to god changes. Fafnir's Curse Strength gets a decreased dragon protection buff to 20% at all ranks. Geb receives a few buffs this patch. Rollout starting damage scaling increases and Cataclysm gets an increased stun duration. Susano's Jet Stream gets a reduced range and tweaked cooldown to 16 seconds at all ranks. Terra's Standing Stones now get bonus damage and Crushing Earth sees a reduced casting time. Lastly, Uller's Bladed Arrow gets an increased damage. And that's it for the patch notes overview for 315 Under the Sea. As always, you can read the complete patch notes on SmiteGame.com or click on the annotation to watch the patch notes show.